Hello, you're welcome to solve this math problem, which is 3x plus 2y is equal to 6, 6xy is equal to 5. To find the values of x and y from these two systems of equation. Now, let's first let this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. Then from equation 1, we have 3x and 2y. Then from equation 2, this 6xy is same as 3x times 2y because 3 times 2 is 6, x times y is xy, then is equal to 5. Then in the next step, from this equation 2 and this equation 1, 3x is common and 2y is common. So we will let a is equal to 3x and b is equal to 2y. Then from equation 1, in here, it will be a plus b is equal to 6. So a plus b is equal to 6. And from this equation 2, it will be a times b is equal to 5. Then in the next step, from this equation 1, we'll take a into the right side. So it will be b is equal to 6 minus a. Then in here, b will substitute b will substitute 6 minus a. So it will be a, then bracket 6 minus a bracket is equal to this 5. Then it will be a times 6 is 6a, a times negative a is negative a square is equal to 5. Then we take 5 into the left side. So we start with this, it will be negative a square plus 6a. Then this one we take into the left side, it will be minus 5 is equal to 0. Then we multiply the whole equation by negative. So negative and negative a square to be positive a square. Negative with positive 6a, it will be negative 6a. Negative with negative 5, it will be positive 5 is equal to 0. Then from this quadratic equation, it can be solved by grouping and factorization. So it will be a square, then minus 5a is same as minus a minus 5a. Then plus 5 is equal to 0. Then from here a is common. So we'll take a out of bracket. a squared divided by a is a. Negative a divided by a is negative 1 bracket. And in here negative 5 is common. So we'll take out of bracket. Negative 5a divided by negative 5 it is a. 5 divided by negative 5 it is negative 1 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here, a minus 1 is common. So we take a minus 1 bracket out of bracket. This divided by this is a. Negative 5 bracket a minus 1 divided by this, it is this negative 5 bracket is equal to 0. Then from here we have two solutions. Whereas this is the first solution, which is a minus 1 is equal to 0. And this second solution, a minus 5 is equal to 0. Then we take negative 1 into the right side, so to be a is equal to 1. And here we take negative 5 to the right side, it will be a is equal to 5. So we already get the values value of a. In We have two values of a. Then in the next step, from this step in here, 3x times 2y is equal to 5. So from 3x times 2y is equal to 5. Before we let that 3x is a. In here, a is equal to 3x. So in here it will be a times 2y is equal to 5. Then we substitute the value of a, it is 1. So it will be 1 times 2y is equal to 
5 then it will be the 1 times 2y is 2y is equal to 5 then we divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be y is equal to 5 over 2 so we already get the value of y from this first solution to find the value of x from this first solution into this step here 3x times 2y is equal to 5 we substitute the value of y which is 5 over 2 into here so it will be 3x times 2 times y is 5 over 2 is equal to this 5 then this and this will cancel so it will be also here 5 within is in both sides so here it will cancel by 1 and this by 1 so 3x times 1 is 3x is equal to this 1 then we divide by 3 in both sides so this and this will cancel then we already get the value of x which is 1 over 3 therefore from the first solution x comma y is equal to x is 1 over 3 and comma y is this 5 over 2 so this is the value of x and y from the first solution and to solve from the second solution whereas a we we'll get the value of a is equal to 5 from this step here of 3x times 2y is equal to 5 this 3x it is a so it will be a times 2y is equal to 5 we substitute the value of a it is 5 then times 2y is equal to 5 then 5 is in both sides so this will cancel by 1 and this by 1 then 1 times 2y it is 2y is equal to 1 then we divide by 2 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be y is equal to a half now to find the value of x from this step here we substitute the value of y it is a half so it will be 3x then times 2 times y which is a half is equal to 5 then this will cancel by 1 by 1 so it will be 3x times 1 is 3x is equal to 5 then we divide by 3 in both sides so this and this will cancel then it will be x is equal to 5 over 3 so from the second solution x comma y is equal to x is 5 over 3 comma y it is a half so this is the value of x and y from the second solution now to check if our solutions are correct from the second equation which is 6xy is equal to 5 from to check from 6xy is equal to 5 in the first solution it will be 6 times in the first solution x it is 1 over 3 and y is 5 over 2 so times x which is 1 over 3 times y is 5 over 2 is it equal to 5 then to simplify 3 will cancel by 1 and this by 2 and this 2 will cancel by 1 and this 2 by 1 so 1 times 1 times 5 it is 5 over 1 times 1 is is 1 5 divided by 1 it is 5 which is equal to 5 so left side and right side are equal then it's true for the value of x and y is 1 over 3 comma 5 over 2 then to check from the second solution of x comma y from the second equation which is 6 x y is equal to 5 it will be 6 times x x is 5 over 3 y it is 1 over 2 
so x here to be 5 over 3 times 1 y is 1 over 2 is it equal to 5 then this we cancel by 1 and this by 2 then 1 by 2 by 1 2 by 1 so 1 times 5 times 1 1 it is 5 divided by 1 times 1 it is 5 so 5 is equal to 5 left side and right side is equal so it's true for the value of x comma y is 5 over 3 comma 1 over 2 thank you for watching don't forget these steps to miss out subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye